So we're coming on to the hobby stand now at the Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2022, looking at... We're going to make our way and see whether we can fight our way into the Maxia, um, because then again, that is a, a layout that I really, really like. A uh, fairly new layout that I think really works well. Uh, you can just see the Caravan Salon Dusseldorf, it's a very, very busy show. Yesterday we did a lot of lives and a lot of footage uh, of individual things and we were pretty much able to just get in most things without any hassle, but today it's a different story. Again, uh, big, big queue trying to get into this Maxia because it's, uh, it's a really good one to see. So we're inside of the Hobby Maxia 660 WQM. Uh, that's a bit of a mouthful, isn't it? 52,500 euros. We're looking at 2,200 kilos. We're on the twin axle, but we've got a payload of about 490 kilograms. Uh, now, this is a fairly new layout with the kitchen at the front. Um, which again we see quite a lot of with the European market but absolutely stunning and we've got the then nice big fridge we've got the oven and grill together and then we've got the hob on the top and again then just have a look at the little side unit with the seating um, all the LED lighting around this is absolutely stunning really really nice lighting and look at the shapes of those cupboards as well they really flow nicely uh, I think the colour scheme really stands out with that blue. And then just have a look at that big side unit. Uh, again, the Scandinavian sort of colours with the cupboards. Um, a really good area for sort of sitting around, watching the TV. Uh, a little bit... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, so we've got the nice... Got the nice big... TV area. Moving towards the back then we've got the fixed bed with the island bed that you can walk all the way around and then towards the back we've got the separate shower and toilet um, which again really really usable. So that's the Hobby Maxia, and there's a few different layouts. Uh, really, really nice design in those. I do like those, and I think that we're going to see some of those possibly coming over into the UK because the layouts, I think, really are aimed more at the UK market. Um, they are a European design, but I think it's, it's took a little bit of the UK market. So I think, as well as us needing to take a little bit of the European design into the English vans, you can see the Europeans are taking the English designs into the European vans, which is nice to see, actually. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing a fair few of these Hobby Maxis coming onto the UK market.